Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Remember, it's Mix from the Mix Creation. Uh, I'm just going to get through uh, some of the questions that are being frequently asked in the comment section. By the way, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. For the new subscribers, for the old subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. No, it's only your support that we can reach uh, a target of 5,000 subscribers uh, before the end of this year. Uh, well, I'm just going to get through a lot of questions, uh, a few questions. Uh, we shall get through one by one and we shall understand exactly what are some of the articles of the laws, what are some of the rules that will govern you as an employer and some of them that will govern you as the employee when you are being employed in Qatar here. For those that are planning to come in as the newcomers and even some of them that are some of you who are already in the country but you do not know exactly what to do at a given period of time. Remember, uh, in this channel, we are giving you all the latest updates regarding jobs, available opportunities, uh, course advice that can help you move in one way in case there is an opportunity, uh, changing jobs, what you are supposed to do, and any other business that may come in between, especially in the Gulf countries, and particularly when you look at in, in Qatar itself. Uh, we are going to look at some of the questions and uh, one of the questions was, is my employer allowed to keep my passport? Uh, 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 is allowed to keep my passport? Yes, at a given period of time, and no, at a given period of time. Remember, uh, remember, a recruiter, a recruiter shall hand over the passport to the employer after uh, finishing all what you call the documentation uh, for getting a residence permit uh, for that employer, for that employee, then he will need to hand over the passport to what we call the employee. What does it mean? That in well, the first time you come into the country, your employer has to process for you what we call a residency permit. We call it a residence permit. And that residence permit, before you get to residence permit, you need to undergo what you call the medicals. You need to go undergo the medical fitness test. And once the medicals are done, definitely they will invite you for what you call the fingerprints. And once your fingerprints are done, then probably they will issue with what you call a residence permit and that's where spend the residence permit is sometimes what you call the Qatar ID and it's one that is going to say that you are allowed you are now officially allowed to, to live and work in Qatar as a resident and remember after all that process is being done then your recruiter or your employer has to make sure that he hands over your passport back to you in your custody he's not allowed to keep your passport after that period. Remember all these processes, uh, this processing of what you call the residence permit or renewal of the residence permit normally takes a period of what we call 90 days or just within three months. So after three months, you expect that your employer has to hand over your passport. However, when we look at the, it may be another side, there are some people that may request the employer to keep for them the passport in case you are not safe or you feel you will not be able to take care of the passport when you are in where your accommodation or where you are or where your belongings are. are. So you, you definitely have to request the employer, but this one has to be done in what you call writing. You have to write to request your employer to to keep for you the passport and still you must keep a copy of that uh, of, of, of that uh, request for your employer to keep for you a copy because he will definitely need as a proof of you that you requested or you allowed him to keep your pass a passport for for you at that period and in the same period your employer you will be entitled to you will have that right to have your passport in case again you have to be requested from such or you need it away from uh, from your employer and that is what act actually article 8 of the labor's law says when it comes to what you call custody or passports of the employees in qatar here it's allowed but also you have you can request him to keep the passport for you but remember when you request it and you need it you definitely have to get the passport for you uh, back to you. Remember, when you're looking at the residence permit pa uh, processing here in Qatar, it takes um, what you call a maximum period of 90 days. After 90 days, which is approximately like around three months, you should have your residence permit with you in case of the rest of the things are being finalized in one way. But we find most of the cases in uh, the people that have been here and it's over six months, they do not need, they do not have what you call a residence permit or they do not have a Qatar ID. We can look at freelancers where you 
you are under someone's uh, uh, someone has to do the paperwork for you and definitely do not follow up it's quite very good to live here in Qatar if you don't have a permit and if you don't have a residence permit and once you are good then it will definitely be a very big trouble for you at the end of it also uh, much as we look at our employers as right but it's also your right to follow up and one way or the other you can ask through what you call your line supervisors try to ask them uh, where where is my residence permit or in case you don't see something that is uh, uh, that seems to be progressing in one way or the other so that you can end of it all you avoid what you call the troubles or you avoid the troubles that may be definitely be coming your way in case police is being caught up or being caught up by police and you're being asked a lot of questions about that thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel it makes from the question remember we are talking about Qatar and we can't fail to mention to appreciate what you call the FIFA World Cup opportunities that have come its way and definitely you definitely when we talk about these opportunities we definitely talk about the FIFA World Cup and we talk about Qatar thank you so much see you again in the next video